Hey ladies, it's Coco Natural here and I wanted to come back with you. It's about day five on my twist outs using my Love Naturals leave-in conditioner and my Camille Rose moisture butter. So I just wanted to kind of show you what my hair is looking like. I know I did the video uh, product review of the I Love Naturals. I did not take the time to allow my style to completely dry before I untwisted and so it kind of came out not as defined as I would have liked. Well, throughout the week, I have actually been um, retwisting it and adding more moisture. So just so that you do know, I have been starting off using my moisturizing spray bottle. And then in here, I have aloe vera juice, castor oil, coconut oil, um, some a little bit of um, my DIY, DIY moisturizer, and just a bunch of other essential oils in here. This is my moisturizing bottle. So it's what I use to dampen my hair and also what I use to provide moisture to my strands before I add my styling products. And so once I've dampened my hair and I just did it damp, I didn't get it soaking wet. Once I dampen my hair, I apply a dime size amount of the Love Naturals Love Me and Leave In Conditioner. And this is actually um, for a flexible style. It's not for a strong hold, but it does keep it from adding a lot of buildup to your hair over the time period of using it. But it is a very flexible hold. It's not a hard hold at all. And just so that you have a little idea of um, the product itself, it's um, that's the consistency. And it's a very light... Um, product it's really not very heavy at all as you can see it disappears so quickly and because of that even as a leave-in conditioner that it does that I'm just gonna apply a little bit it smells like strawberries it's infused with some strawberries so it smells really delicious but um because it's such a light product and I believe it's water-based that I have to still use a styling product on top of it to actually get the um, to provide the moisture that I really need otherwise it's just not enough of a product to uh, enough, enough of a cream based product and I have very low porosity hair and so moisture doesn't soak into the, that easily so I need something a little bit heavier like a cream or a butter on top of it just to add that extra moisture to my hair and so what I have been using to add that moisture is the Camille Rose curl aid moisture butter um, it's changed from just being moisture butter to a uh, curl aid with moisture butter and this is a very nice thick butter that I absolutely love and I just wanted to make sure I get all these little pieces of hair out of the bottle and this is what it looks like and you'll see a little bit of castor oil black castor oil dripping down but that's what the product looks like it's a very thick uh, cream butter cream and as you can see I will try to rub it in and you can see like it's a little bit thicker it's harder to rub it and make it go away it's a much thicker product than the uh, the leave-in from Love Naturals so this is a Camille Rose moisture butter and this is what I use to style my hair to actually help set the twist um, the Camille Moros, uh, the moisture butter, it does also have a very soft hold. It doesn't have gel or anything in it, so it's not a hard hold to my hair. And as you can see, I did not twist my hair last night, but I twisted the day before. And as you can see, there's not a lot of definition in my hair. It's still, it's extremely moisturized. It has no ashiness in my hair going on at all, but it's just not a lot of definition and hold either. It's a lot of moisture. It's, um, fluffy it's soft I mean it feels good it looks that I did want to let you guys know that I had been applying to my hair just for the moisture is my Jamaican black castor oil and I use this just to add moisture and what I'll do is I'll put I will pour it into the cap and then as I twist my hair I will dip my finger in the cap and that's really all you need to add you know moisture to your hair and you can use this and just massage it on your scalp and put it on your edges putting it on my edges it provides so it uh so much moisture i mean i just did that one dip and it provides so much moisture to your hair and your skin i mean you don't need a lot of it it's so thick it's such a thick um uh, thick texture but it's not heavy as much as um the regular castor oil is very 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 heavy but this is not so much heavy and i use this also to take down my twists 
and so forth. So I really, really, really love the black Jamaican black castor oil to moisturize my scalp in my hair. But I just wanted to get, show you guys what the hair looks like after a couple of days and continuing to add moisture. Not getting much curl definition with my twists, but getting a whole heck of a lot of moisture and sheen to my hair. And so I definitely will be still using it and I might try the leave-in with another product, maybe something that does give a firmer hold so that I can get some of the definition that I like with my hair. You and have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Bye.